Hey everyone, this is Indiana here with Emptor Audio. And if you've looked at any of the you know latest audio products right now in the past couple years, I feel like we're almost entering a bit of a, I don't know if I want to say golden age or silver age of audio. Um, now I'm not saying, you know, towards the higher end of the market, but I'm saying more towards the budget end of the market. Um, some of the recent budget um, products that I've come across they've been pretty amazing and quite honestly i've been pretty blown away by how good some of these sound products sound now everything on this video i have not listened to myself um, but a lot of the products here i've checked out reviews for heard really good things about them and have got a lot of recommendations to give them a shot so if you're looking to build a budget system say for a desktop or entry level two channel here are some suggestions for you and it's almost getting harder now to really make a wrong pick, I would say. Um, I'd say seven or eight years back when I was doing um, some of my first desktop audio systems, um, I bought a couple of brands of stuff. I will say one uh, topping, I brought one other uh, amps, and I had some issue with it. It was really, really noisy, had a lot of hiss to it, had it warranted, and the next one I got had about half the amount of hiss to it, but it was still very noticeable. Um, I've been through, I'd say, probably hundreds of pairs of speakers, and it's always been kind of hard to find one that I really like, but the recent pair of uh, Yamos that I've got, um, the 803s, they sound pretty good for the price, uh, being, being pretty much under $100. Um, so it's amazing how far technology has come, but at the same time, all the pricing has come down so far. So you don't need to spend $500,000 plus on a system for a small two-channel, um, or even like a desktop audio system to really get awesome sound nowadays. So let's check this out. And I'm just looking on Amazon, eBay here. Um, there are plenty of other places to buy, of course, audio gear. You can especially go like on Facebook Marketplace. There is always eBay. You know, of course, you can find tons of used stuff on there. Uh, thrift stores, garage sales. I found audio gear all over the place. Um, I'd say my favorite audio gear personally has always kind of been the budget audio gear. Um, I've heard, you know, I've been to audio shows, heard the expensive stuff, and it, I would say the price of gear doesn't necessarily mean it sounds better. I will say that. Um, a lot of audio is like flavors of ice cream. Do you like vanilla? Do you like chocolate? Do you like strawberry? Just because one costs $10, the other one costs $2, doesn't necessarily make it better to you. So that's kind of my personal philosophy there on audio gear. Uh, but anyways, here's the Topping D10 uh, DAC. This is one of the best reviewed DACs. I know they make a couple others in the same price range and around the same model as well. Um, of course, too many to cover in just one video here. Uh, but that $100 DAC point now is phenomenal. Um, I'm hearing a lot of good stuff about a lot of these DACs now. And we're getting into such, you know, levels of DACs where it's becoming more and more... Um, you know, difficult to hear the differences between them. Um, you know, we go from a $100 DAC to a $500 DAC. How much of a difference really are you going to hear? I'm sure there's a difference. I, I've, I'm running a SMSL DO300 right now, and it's a little over $500. I think it, yeah, it does sound better than a hundred dollar deck I've heard in the past, but is it worth the four hundred dollar jump in price? That's kind of the question there. So if you want to start out with a DAC, and of course there are way cheaper options than this that are going to sound pretty good too. Um, but for DACs, I would say spend at least 50, 60 bucks the minimum, <clears throat> because DACs are really going to be your entry point <coughs> into the audio. So going for, you know, at least a solid DAC is something to definitely have and definitely very important to have there. Um, so, of course, you can always go into some of the, you know, all-in-one stuff. This is a brand that I have not heard myself personally, um, but I see this brand reviewed all over the place. And, and I guess I love reading on, like, Reddit, our budget audio file. Um, I love Cheap Audio Man. Um, I love even doing comparisons on audio science reviews. Um, just because I do reviews myself, of course, doesn't mean that I don't read anyone else's reviews. I actually read reviews of everyone else all the time. I love hearing everyone else's opinions on stuff. And uh, it's just great to hear what everyone else thinks about gear, pros and cons of stuff. Uh, I would say never listen to just one person about a piece of gear. Always check around with multiple reviewers to see um, what the overall consensus of, is of something. So this is, uh, this is I think it's pronounced Duke Audio ST01. This is the Pro. I've heard some amazing stuff about this from a couple of reviewers. I think Cheap Audio Man, I think I watched his review on this as well too. It's going to be a bit of an all-in-one here. So it's going to be a tube amp. 
Of course, it's got a DAC built in. It's going to have, of course, a preamp and an app in there as well. Um, but for $140, I mean, that is that is not bad at all. It's going to look like a pretty cool unit here. And on the back, of course, we can go right USB for your computer and go right out to speaker out as well. So if you just want an all-in-one unit, that's totally possible too. But the cool thing is, is going separates now isn't really that big of a deal anymore. It's not like you're going to spend, you know, $200 for your DAC, $200 for your um, preamp, $200 for the amp, and then, of course, maybe another four or $500 for speakers. Of course, you can. That's that's no big deal. But being able to um, pick an affordable option, whether you want to have an all-in-one unit or separates, that's no big deal anymore. So that's pretty cool. Um, moving on to, say, a headphone amplifier. If you want to have one on your desk, I don't really use headphones myself too much personally. Um, I mostly just use them for doing reviews and things now. Um, maybe once a month I listen to headphones. It's just not common for me to use headphones. I love just two-channel bookshelf speakers is my favorite. Um, but for the most part, headphones now have definitely improved significantly. I don't really go into headphones too much in this video, but I will say if you're looking for a solid amp, um, the Topping L32, um, I've heard many, many good reviews on this amp. Um, lots of really, really cool stuff with this amp now. comes in a couple of colors, which is kind of cool. I, I love that. You can get like red or blue, which is kind of neat. Just something different, you know. That's always cool to see. Um, and it's just going to be, you know, it's a headphone amp. And it's going to sound just fantastic. I haven't heard this one myself, but from the review, this is like my next headphone amp that I really want to check out just because of how good it sounds. And this headphone amp, it's not, you know... $500, $1,000. We're talking 126 bucks right now, and it's on sale. When I started watching this one on eBay, it was 150 and we're now down to 126 on this headphone amp. And this headphone amp's probably going to last you 10 plus years. So if you divide that over the course of 10 years, that's like 12 bucks a year for a really good headphone amp. That's not bad at all. It's really cool what we're seeing here um, with head with. Um, things like like audio for your desktop. Um, this is just what I searched for on Hi-Fi, on eBay Daily Deals. And of course, this changes pretty much every single day. I've never even heard of this brand, Advantry Edition, uh, but for 79 bucks right now, this is going to be wired and wireless Bluetooth headphones. Kind of cool. I've seen a few pairs of those uh, headphones that can do both. Um, but you can pretty much find this stuff anywhere, Amazon, eBay now. Um, just was seeing what was current on eBay daily deals. Uh, of course, if we have like a brand like Fozzy Audio, I've been covering some of their stuff recently. They've got a massive amount of stuff. Um, they've got some new stuff coming out too. They do have on their website um, in their new section. Uh, but if you're looking for, you know, just a cheap two-channel amplifier just to get the job done, you know, drive two pairs of speakers on your desktop, here you go. And this is going to be, of course, no frills here. Um, this is going to just be a 50 watt by two, a little volume control on the front, nothing too flashy, nothing too special here, and simple line in, you know, RCAs, that's it, there you go, and it's actually a fantastic deal. Now, is this going to be the best amp you're going to listen to? Probably not, but it's going to give you a stepping stone to definitely jump into some better stuff, which is going to be the really cool aspect of this amp. If you want to jump into something better, go for it. If this thing sounds as good as you want it to sound, you got it for 50 bucks. Oh, and they're doing a 5% coupon on this as well, too. Um, I remember seven, eight years ago, Class D amps, um, even some of the ones that were just okay, I mean, you're starting at 80, 90, 100 bucks on those amps, and they didn't actually, actually sound that great. A lot of these new Class D amps are getting cheaper and they're getting better sounding. So it's really amazing to see just, you know, how the market is evolving over time here. Um, one brand that um, I'm working with quite a bit here recently is Aurelic, and they've got the A50 Plus. They've also got a few other new units out. This is going to definitely be more of a, you know, kind of two-channel, um, you know, for like a room, living room kind of thing. I use it on my desktop as well, but there's no, there's no volume knob, unfortunately, so you got to use the remote for everything. Not that big of a deal, um, but this is a great just all-in-one solution. For 220 bucks. you're basically set. So we've got a DAC in here, preamp in here, amp in here. 
Um, I'm not a fan on the A50 Plus here that it's going to be Phoenix connectors on the back of the spear cables. I much, much prefer five-way binding posts, but it's a, such a small unit. This thing is really, really, I mean, it's just like this big. It is really, really tiny for what it is. You could have this behind a TV super easy if you wanted to. Um, it's just so tiny. And of course, there is a Bluetooth antenna and a Wi-Fi antenna for additional range on there too. It's just a really feature-packed unit for 220 bucks. It's really cool to see this kind of stuff as we're seeing a lot of this, you know, very integrated stuff here with just tons and tons of features. Now getting into speakers, um, of course, one of the biggest areas here, we haven't really seen speakers come down in price too much. I know I talked about the Yamos that I've got, uh, the 803s. Um, I think they sound really good. They're definitely by no means the best sounding speakers I've heard, especially for bookshelf. Um, you've, you have just a huge amount of options for bookshelf speakers. And when it comes to speakers, my, my only real, I wouldn't say advice, is to just keep trying out stuff. Um, you're never going to find a speaker that you're going to find just absolutely perfect for you. There's always something new that's going to come out. You might you might be with you know, a pair of that speakers that's going to be $500. And you might change something that's maybe 100 and you might think it sounds better, or vice versa. Um, so I would say just keep trying out different stuff as you get the chance to and just kind of have fun with it. That's really the important thing about speakers. Um, you never know what's going to be around the corner. But the cool thing is, is I've not tried this out, but there's like this Mica MB42 for 67 bucks. So you could you could technically go entirely all separates here for a desktop audio system, a two channel system for really under $200. You can pick up a DAC for 50 bucks, a preamp or an amp, or just an integrated little mini combo there for 50 bucks. Pick up some speaker wire, pretty cheap on Amazon too, and then some bookshelf speakers for $67 and you've got a nice separate system that you can upgrade any part of it you want at any time for really cheap. That's the really cool part about this now. Um, the Klipsch R41s, um, we've got some speakers there. That's speakers by Sony. I, I'm not really talking bad about any pair of the speakers here because I have not heard a lot of these on Amazon here. And a lot of these are um, power speakers as well too, so they're designed to just be plug and play. Um, but this is also a big upgrade from just, you know, you know, I'm talking about those cheap little computer speakers you get that plug into USB and the 3.5 green jack there. Um, uh, but these, a lot of these speakers here for a hundred dollars, $150. Of course, you've got the bigger names like Edifier. And of course, we're going to have other brands like, um, Presonus and Audio Engine, a big, big one there, Audio Engine. Uh, but there's tons of options out here to pick from that you don't need to spend a lot of money on and you can still get really really good sound here so guys you know in conclusion the cool thing i think we're seeing now is you can build a great system without spending a lot of money whether you just want to go separates or you want to go all in one you can totally do that if you want to maybe just go all in one for the you know the dac the preamp the amp side and then go with a separate bookshelf speakers because you like upgrading speakers that's possible or if you want to have everything separate that's fine too or like right here, you can just go with everything all built into one and there you go, you're all set. So at the end of the day, guys, it's whatever you want to do, that's fine. Um, and you don't, wanna, you don't need to spend a lot of money either to get, just get great sound. So you don't need to spend $500,000 plus unless you really want to, but just, you know, enjoy what you listen to and have fun doing it. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care.